This is the Trek Light lockbox. It's a snap safe. It's by the Hornady Company. The Hornady Company. And they come in several colors. They come in black. They have a grayish bluish version. And they also have this peanut butter tan desert color that I am holding here in front of me. And the purpose of this is to travel with it. You can lock your firearm in here so you can get it on an airplane. And by get it on an airplane, I mean to be able to check it in with your luggage because of course you cannot bring it inside your cabin as a carry-on or as a personal item for safety reasons, of course. And the first thing you'll notice when you get it is that it's going to be sealed with very strong tape over here. So for the purposes of this video, I have already pre-detached it. And let's open it. So this is an unboxing as well as a spotlighting of this product. And always save this in case you have to return it even though if you order through Amazon you don't have to save the packages if you return it to a Staples or an Amazon UPS uh, location. Here comes in another box. Let's open and put this over here for recycling or throwing it in the trash. And these come in two versions. The first one that I'm holding in front of you, this is for the keys, the one with the lock, the actual key lock, and then there's another one that has a combination lock. It has four numbers that you set yourself. So let's open it. And inside you have these things right here. Most importantly, the key and you come in a set of two. Let's put this down for a second and also you're going to see that it comes with this so you can secure it in place. That's just for the purposes of this video. Let's untangle this quickly. Here are your two keys and here's the size of the loop that are going to go to your keychain, your key ring. Just okay, so this is one of the keys that comes with it. And this is the face inside. It has this cushioning here. And it says it holds a 1911. So this should be perfect if you have an everyday personal defense firearm. Here's the other side. Okay, here's the locking mechanism here at the top. Let's see if we can get it to move. I guess it does. So you might want to move the cushioning a little bit down because at first when I put it in it wasn't moving and it was because the cushioning was caught right there and it wouldn't allow this to move freely but now it is so your firearm would go here and i wonder if there's enough space for ammo to travel with it i would say perhaps there is maybe one or two extra magazines could fit here for example, if we have a Glock firearm, Glock 19, and reading from the back of the box, uh, of course we already saw it comes with two keys. It uh, has a foam lining to keep it from scratching your firearm, and it includes a 1,500 pound rated patented security cable 
with sturdy cable connector that doesn't limit the interior space and they're talking about this okay and what you would do is have space for it here right there on the side in which you can attach this to it so you can secure you can fasten it so it won't be mobile if you desire to leave it someplace so that's the key closing it right there and remember I told you the foam gets in the way right now it's not turning and it's because I told you the foam gets in the way so what you want to do you want to take care of that before you actually go out and have to use it so what I'm going to do is I'm going to push it down here and the other thing I'm going to do is remove all of the tape that's around here close it bingo and now it turns now it's open and now it's closed okay take the key out let's see if that can go smoother now it's open I got it open here it is closed the key just comes right out see if we can do it remember this is going to be in your keychain so you want to if you have a lot of keys you might want to paint this one with a brighter color so you know exactly which is the one that you need to open this immediately because just having this black plastic over here can blend in with your other keys so uh, you know every second counts and so you want to be able to uh, distinguish this key from the, the others so you go like that turn it and get it open you might want to practice it a few times the other model of this is a combination lock which has four numbers that you reset on the inside of this this is not that model but if you had the combination lock what you would do is once you get it open the first thing when you get it to, the numbers are automatically going to be set by default or supposed to be to all to all zeros so if you have the four combination lock of this this of this model the combination will be zero 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 four zeros you get it open and then it has a tab that you move from a to b it's going to be by default on a you move it to b you set your own combination and you set, send it back to set it back to A and then you close it. That's if you have the combination lock, but this is not this model. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to tell you I had the combination lock. I had to return it. I returned it for this purpose. I returned it because when I received it, the default code was not working. And uh, I didn't want to mess with it. I did everything I could. It has a knob that you can open it with but the default lock was not working, which means possibly that it's a, it came like that from the manufacturer or they sent me a, a, a used model, a used product. And of course, you know, if someone has it before you, you don't know why they returned it. They'll, re, they'll check it when they return it for defects in the mechanism, but also many times they don't check it to see if the, default combination actually is set to the default combination so I had to return it and I ordered this one with the key the other reason is because I read some of the reviews and I saw that with the combination version of this a lot of people not a whole lot of people it still had a positive rating but I noticed that they complained about the numbers being hard to set into place and align it the way that they were supposed to to get it open and of course, it's just a time saver, so having, having the key, so just like that. See, try as you might, can't get it open. Now it's locked. I'm going to turn it the other way, and now it's open. Okay. 
And the weight of it, I would say, is possibly two pounds or a little less. It does not um, feel bulky. So this is how they intend for you to use it in a suitcase. If you can see this picture, if you travel, this is how it's intended to use it. See your suitcase, your travel case, and you have your some shirts and clothing and right next to it, right before you check it in. Yeah, you'll you can put it right, you can take it out, but right here, while you're traveling with it, it can fit right there on your, in your suitcase. Purpose for this is why to travel. So it's TSA friendly, but of course they recommend that you check the TSA rules in your state, in your airport, because every place has different laws. And of course, if you're traveling with your firearm, also check to see if your state has, the state that you're going to has reciprocity, concealed carry reciprocity, or whatever kind of carry they have, just to, so you are in compliance with the laws of that state. Just looking at the side, that's part of the rubber. So this part over here is rubber. This feels like a composite, hard sort of plastic. I want to show you again and if you find that you need more room you can get a bigger one but this is the size of this one all right so you imagine the firearm your personal everyday defense maybe this size you can lay it there and then you can place the magazines here sideways and this foam cushioning is set so it won't scratch your firearm. You can also put your keys in here. You could also put your wallet in here. You can also, who knows, whatever you don't want to get wet, your passport, or whatever you don't want to, uh, whatever you, that needs a little bit extra security for your benefit or for someone else's safety. And uh, another reason why you might want to get this version and not the black one that seems to be the best seller is because it has a lighter color. You can see it better. So it won't blend in with a lot of other things in case you need to find it right away. The other reason why you might want to get the black one is because it blends in with other things and you don't want it to be easily seen. So that's up to you that's your preference the back over here is also composite it has a metal rod pin right there I'm not sure if you can see it from that angle but it's there but it's mostly rubber and hard plastic that makes up this product so that it here it is that's a snap safe Trek light lock box from the Hornady Company. If you have any questions or you just wanted to see how it looks, now you know. Here it is.